We are in the endocrinology video series. The previous videos are linked in the description. And in this video, we'll be discussing about the adrenal gland. These are the pair of small triangular shaped endocrine glands located on top of the each kidney, as shown in the diagram. This being the endocrine gland secretes different type of hormones like mineralocorticoids, glucocorticoids, androgens, and catecholamines that we are going to see in detail in later part of the video. Here in this diagram, we have the kidney. And on top of the kidney, we can see the adrenal gland. The innermost part is the adrenal medulla and the outermost part shown in the yellow color is adrenal cortex. And if we zoom into the structures of adrenal cortex, we can see first we have the connective tissue layer on the outside. Then there is zona glomerulosa followed by a large layer of zona fasciculata and then there is zona reticularis as shown in the diagram. All the three layers that is zona glomerulosa, zona fasciculata and zona reticularis form as the adrenal cortex part of the gland. And the last layer in this structure is adrenal medulla as shown in the diagram. So this forms as the adrenal gland. Now let's see the hormones from the respective layers of adrenal gland. First of all from first layer that is zona glomerulosa we get the aldosterone. From second layer that's zona fasciculata we get the cortisol hormone. From third layer that is zona reticularis we get the DHEA. And from fourth layer that's the adrenal medulla we get the epinephrine and norepinephrine. Now if we see the target organs or target tissues of these hormones, first of all aldosterone hormone mainly targets the nephrons of kidney. As we can see in this diagram we have the nephron shown. This part is the DCT that's distal convoluted tubule and this part highlighted in yellow color is the collecting duct. The aldosterone mainly targets these two regions of the nephron to regulate the blood pressure. Here in this diagram we have the blood stream shown and on the left we have the distal convoluted tubule of nephron shown. And when we have the low blood pressure, the aldosterone from adrenal gland comes in and starts regulating the blood pressure. The aldosterone mediates the retention of water. Here the water from distal convoluted tubule is reabsorbed into the blood stream. And in the same way sodium ions or sodium molecules are also reabsorbed into the blood stream as shown in the animation thereby retaining both water and sodium molecules. And in the meantime, the potassium ions flow into the distal convoluted tubule from bloodstream as shown in the diagram. So basically we see here the aldosterone stimulates sodium and water retention, thus increasing blood pressure. Then we have second hormone from adrenal cortex that's cortisol. It mainly increases blood glucose levels. We see the cortisol hormone mainly targets the liver where it mediates the glycogen synthesis, increase in gluconeogenesis and also increase the protein breakdown. All these metabolic systems lead to hyperglycemia. Furthermore, the cortisol hormone also targets the adipose tissue, where it increases lipolysis, thereby increasing the free fatty acids that leads to insulin resistance. And finally, the cortisol hormone also targets the muscles, where it decreases the insulin signaling, and increases proteolysis that also leads to insulin resistance. And there are some functions like cortisol also have been involved in increasing blood pressure and suppresses immune system. Then we have androgens like DHEA. Directly we see DHEA has little biological activity itself. But its conversion to testosterone and dihydrotestosterone makes it a potential precursor of these potential effect to androgens. These androgens play a crucial role in prenatal development of male reproductive tract. At puberty in both sexes, it aids in growth of pubic and axillary hair, and also aids in growth of apocrine scent gland, and the androgen stimulates the libido in females. And finally, we get the catecholamines from adrenal medulla. First one is adrenaline or epinephrine, and second one is noradrenaline or norepinephrine. When stimulated, the adrenal medulla secretes a mixture of hormones into the bloodstream, about 85% of epinephrine and 15% of norepinephrine. First important thing to remember here is that the adrenaline or epinephrine is hormone. And noradrenaline or norepinephrine is both hormone as well as neurotransmitter, so acting as neurohormone. Epinephrine increases heart rate and norepinephrine also does the same in most of the cases. 
epinephrine increases contractility vasoconstriction and vasodilation it also increases glycolysis in muscles and gluconeogenesis and on the other hand we have the norepinephrine whose effect is mediated by sympathetic nervous system where it acts as hormone as well as neurotransmitter it increases respiratory rate bronchodilation and vasoconstriction both these hormones are mostly attached to a term flight or fight response because these are the hormones released under alarming conditions fear and stress so this is the structure of adrenal gland its hormones and its physiology i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up to consider supporting me work on patreon or youtube and make sure to subscribe to the channel thanks